every possible initiative that the UN has taken or any individual country has taken, Prime Minister Modi has been a part of that. He's been a very much sought after part of that. As Indians, you want your prime minister to be somewhere in the center, somewhere near, uh, you know, near Putin or near Obama or near whatever, not in the corner. So these things, even for people who are non-practitioners of foreign policy and, you know, the layman, even that matters. So family pictures are one part of it. But if you see that Prime Minister Modi is probably one of the most sought after mm. leaders in the world for any global decision making that you have whether it's in climate change, uh, whether it is in issues that are political in nature or economic in nature, he's always called in. Um, he's been called in to all of the recent G7 summits. Uh, as I said, we are part of the Quad, we are part of the BRICS, we are part of the SEO, uh, we are part of the I2U2, which has just been created. Hmm. We have regional, we engage as a country regionally with the European Union, uh, with uh, with the Central Asian states, uh, with CARICOM, with the Gulf Cooperation Council, with uh, the Pacific Island states, with ASEAN, African Union. So we've got these mechanisms that enable us to engage with uh, organizations or uh, groups of countries across the across the world. Uh, so uh, in in recent uh, years, if you've seen, um, you know, whether, you know, on practically every summit, whether it's a democracy summit or a green partnership summit, every possible initiative that the UN has taken or any individual country has taken, Prime Minister Modi has been a part of that. He's been a very much sought after part. Of that. We saw um, attempts at multiple tra multiple attempts at transgressions across the LAC. Um, so our point, of course, since then we've had a number of uh, discussions at the level of army commanders and at the diplomatic levels. Uh, External Affairs Minister uh, Dr. Jayashankar himself has met his counterpart on a, on a number of occasions. You also were part of many yes. Of the I mean, meetings. of course, uh, as Foreign Secretary, um, mm. you know, this was an issue that we uh, one of the very major issues that we. Was it one of the biggest challenges in your career? Uh, without a doubt, I think the uh, there were times that uh, you know the um, when the issue was was very much live, that um, you know it could have gone uh, anyway. So we had to make sure that we were constantly working together on a whole of government approach. Uh, we were working um, not only unitedly, but we were always there. The eye was always on the ball. We had to make sure that uh, we got out of this situation uh, in in a way that uh, that actually um, uh, kept uh, both our security and uh, and our strategic considerations intact and in place. Mm -hmm.